Hi everybody. Welcome to the fourth in a series of videos where I talk about the three most commonly discussed standards for motorcycle safety helmets in the United States. That being the DOT, which is the federally required standard, the Snell 2015, and the ECE standard, which is the European standard. In this video, I want to talk about protrusions, things that stick off a shell. Uh, things like a spoiler, like this, or a vent, like this. Anything that rises above the actual shell surface. Now, all three uh, standards have a given measurement. For uh, Snell, it's seven millimeters, and I'm gonna use my handy calipers here to help you see that. That's seven millimeters. DOT is five, and ECE is two, so obviously the two fall in between the min and the max I'm gonna show you. That's about two right there. And DOT allows, uh, like I say, five, just a little bit more than that. Um, but this is a case where, first of all, all three require that anything that, that protrudes farther than their allowed measurement has to break away. Uh, the idea being that if, it, if it, you have a fall and the helmet hits the road, you don't want anything that can stick down and catch which would cause potentially something like a whiplash or pendulum effect or something along those lines. Now, what I like about the ECE standard in this particular case is not only do they give you a measurement and not only is that measurement smaller than the other two, they also actually have test equipment and they require you to put your helmet through the motions to prove that it breaks away under given stresses that they, they lay out in the standard. Uh, to me, that just sets them, that's one area where they take a little bit of a lead over the other two. Although, as I, I stand my ground, look at the three standards and compare them one to, the, one to another, and they're all good. Just some have little things that make me like them a little better than the other in that particular instance. Speaking of that, if you're watching this on YouTube, in the description box below, there's a link that'll take you to uh, a file that has all three standards in it. You can pull them and take a look for yourself. There's also a spreadsheet that I've put together over the years that I use for reference uh, that shows you the different uh, tests that they require, the energy levels, all that type of thing, and whether or not each one individually requires that specific test. So nothing I say here is intended as advice. It's really just my opinion based on my 40 plus years in the motorcycle industry and about 18 now that I've been specializing in helmets specifically. I hope you find it useful and I hope you stay safe out there. We'll, we'll see you soon.